Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at the verbs dar and ver in the preterite, or dar y ver in the preterito. And the reason that we look at these two verbs the same is because they have the exact same conjugations uh, with the exception of the D and the V. So uh, it's easy to use, learn together uh, for that reason. So again, the preterite, if uh, you're new to this, is to talk about actions that took place in the past. Uh, if you wanna get further into that, just search my channel for uh, preterite or preterito and you'll find a whole bunch of lessons if you want to learn other verb conjugations or lessons on when you use the preterite versus uh, the imperfect, the other form of the past tense, uh, you can do that. But here are the conjugations. So uh, dar, I'll just pronounce them for it. Each one to you goes to di, diste, dio, dimos, distes, dieron. And ver is going to sound exactly the same with the exception of the first letter. So we got vi, viste, bio. Vimos, vistes, vieron. And if you've never heard this before, if you ever have trouble with the vosotros form of the verb in the preterite, for all verbs, whether they're regular or irregular, all you have to do is add is to the end of the to form, and you have the vosotros form. So if you ask yourself, what is the vosotros form? Well, if you just add is to the to form, you have the vosotros form of the verb. If you want to stick around and practice, I've got a practice activity for you right down here. And by the way, I'll mention to you that this document you see on the screen is available to you in the description of the video. If you want to download it uh, for the notes or uh, print off the activity, you're welcome to do so. So if you want to uh, pause the video and do this activity, uh, before you do that, though, let me point out to you really quick that the verb dar, uh, often you're going to use that to talk about things that somebody maybe gives to somebody else. And when you do that in Spanish, you have to, ha you have to include the indirect object pronoun, um, which refers to the person that is receiving what is it, whatever is being given. So like this first sentence, for example, says, yo le dar el libro a mi hermano. So it's saying, I gave the book to my brother. So my brother is this le right here. So if, just so you're not confused, the verb dar is going to be conjugated to yo here. And number two, dar, I'll be going with ellos here. Okay, so pause the video if you into the activity. I'll give, I'm going to scroll down and give you the answers in just a couple seconds. Okay, uh, we'll just run on the answers, and I will go ahead and read them to you and translate what they what they mean as well. So number one says, "Yo le di el libro a mi hermano." I gave the book to my brother. Uh, number next one, "Ellos me dieron el regalo." They gave me the gift. Trece or three, I guess. "Tú le diste la carta a ella." You gave the letter to her. Next one, "Mi amigo y yo dimos la enhorabuena." My friend and I gave the congratulations. Quince, Rosalinda me dio un collar. Rosalinda gave me a necklace. Dieciséis, Juan y Paco vieron una película ayer. Uh, they saw a movie yesterday. Diecisiete, uh, yo vi el pájaro en el árbol. I saw the bird in the tree. Next one, Maribel vio el carro grande. She saw the big car. Uh, next one, viste tu programa favorito. You saw your favorite program. Y por fin, Ángel y yo vimos el partido de fútbol. Angel and I, or Angel y yo, saw the soccer game. Uh, if you have questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.